It is just outstanding. He doesn't telegraph a thing. And I think what really jumps out of the film room for me is his ability to get his foot off the canvas to the target so quickly. A lot of guys just don't even see it coming. And he doesn't discriminate. He'll attack that lead leg. He'll go to the body. Beautiful head kick upstairs as well. The technique is really what sets up everything to this guy's game. And his opponent certainly weary of what's coming back with those kicks tonight. This guy has insanely fast kicking speed and ridiculous leg dexterity. If you are close enough for him to kick you, you've got a real problem on your hands. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Van Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. <laughs> This man is making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting in Sarajevo, Bosnia, and Herzegovina. The gentleman. All right, give me the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Let's go, fight. All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here and let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. Nice jab. Really missed with that right hand. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Gotta find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. He got tagged there. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. Oh, nice jab. Huge block there. Just over three minutes to go round one. Trying to establish that jab once again. Lee gets hit with that overhand. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Good exchanges from both fighters. 
Caught him with a punch. Lee's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, nice. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Wow. Try to establish that jab. Oh, and he connects there. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. The left hook hits home. Well, he eats a punch to the head there, Joe, and he would be wise to get his head off of that. Oh, what a wild exchange. He's got him hurt here. Big shots. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Oh, straight right. Misses with the right hand. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Let's take a look at some of the action from this round. And here's a nice punch that lands clean. And here's another punch that sneaks through. And here's another perfectly placed punch. Incredible striking on display in that round. Okay, listen, next round is this. Carly Baker in the building tonight. Thank you very much. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Now, starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. Tags him. He gets hit with an outside leg kick. Just missed with the straight left hand. How about that shin? Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, head kick! Oh! Well, he ate a pretty big head kick there, Joe, and he's got to be careful moving forward, moving into striking range, leaving that head wide open. I know his corner looks frustrated. Let's see if this team can make the requisite adjustments. And there he swung with a haymaker. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Nice catch, right hand. Big left hand there inside. Oh, what a leg kick. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Lee. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Sound technique on that kick, Joe. That landed. Hand speed, man. Again going back to the jab just out of range. Good body shot. Lee gets in the clinch. He's going to the foot stop here, Joe. Staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. Got the over-under here. And now trying to take the back. And they separate. Back to the jab now, no good. 45 seconds remain in the round. There's a nice exchange. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Straight 
punch. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Look at that, he's timing that jab. Just out of range with that strike. 10 minutes in the books. And that's what started everything off, that beautiful jab. And here's another punch that sneaks through. And here's another perfectly placed punch. Some really well-placed strikes on display in that round. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. Third round underway. Oh! He's trying to hang on! Oh! Oh! Huge right hand! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. He's got him hurt here. Oh! Hard hook. Incredibly large volume of strikes, but this last one was the big one that landed for the knockout. Well, Joe, you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Here it is from another angle. Here we see it again. Bang! So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, five seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. The gentleman. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so.